A quick addendum on this inverter. I took the entire thing apart again, uh, even further apart than I had it before in the video, trying to figure out why this display on the end wasn't working properly. And I didn't find any loose connections, no poor solder joints, uh, aside from the shoddy quality of, of construction initially. And no components that were obviously burned. And uh, after 45 minutes or so of disassembling and reassembling it, um, I decided that it was not worth trying to figure out. It's some sort of proprietary component in there that, I don't know, I'm not going to bother trying to figure out. So, in the end, this inverter is once again operating completely properly, except this display does not work. And I'm not sure about the USB port, I haven't tested that yet. But uh, also I want to comment before I go, because I'm not going to make a, a video on the performance of this inverter. So I'm just going to say right here, this is a truly terrible product. Uh, it actually cannot run my refrigerator. My refrigerator takes about 160 watts when it's running um, off of a modified sine wave inverter. It takes less off of a sine wave one. Um, I may make a video on that later, but uh, anyway, this doesn't even run my refrigerator. I have a 600 watt inverter that runs it just fine, so that goes to show how poor this one is. It seems to run resistive loads okay, but, uh, well, I'll just call it okay. It runs them poorly too, but it runs resistive loads okay up to uh, around 1500 watts, but it does not uh, run inductive loads well at all, and I suspect capacitive loads it doesn't do well with either. So anyway, this will now conclude the video of this uh, Whistler 1600 watt power inverter. I do not like it.